South Africa has made a significant discovery in the evolution of dinosaurs. The remains of a new species of the Sauropodomorpha was recently found in Clarence in the Free State Province. Leduma Hadimafube was the largest living creature to walk the planet at the dawn of the Jurassic era more than 200 million years ago. CGTN's Julie Shire caught up with the professor who led the discovery. Ledumahadi Mafube means giant thunderclap at dawn, a name that pays tribute to the magnificence of the sauropodomorph dinosaur discovered in the Free State in South Africa, which was double the size of an African elephant. So you can imagine the same big gut, um, but you're looking at a tail that's several meters long, maybe three to four meters long. So it's a dinosaur with a tiny head and a long neck and it ate plants. We think it weighed about 12 tons, um, and that means it's the largest thing alive on Earth at that time. Dinosaurs had survived an extinction of large land animals at the end of the Triassic period. The Earth was still one gigantic landmass called Pangaea. The continents didn't exist in the current form, and it was more than 200 million years before any sign of human life. There were lots of animals running around the surface of the Earth, and if you went out in the, in the bush and looked at animals, then you'd see croc relatives and mammal relatives and dinosaurs. Um, after that, that time, once you go into the Jurassic, almost everything becomes a dinosaur. Dinosaurs really take over these ecosystems. Ledumahadi roamed the African plains almost 200 million years ago. It was the start of the Jurassic era when dinosaurs inhabit most of the planet. This particular prehistoric animal has similar traits to a creature found in China around the same time. When Ledumahadi lived, many similar dinosaurs were evolving at the same time in China. And in fact, some of its closest relatives live in Yunnan, or lived in Yunnan 200 million years ago. And this tells us about how the globe was connected. The Fitz University team who made the discovery believes there is more to be found in South Africa, which is also home to the cradle of humankind. For historical reasons, uh, people haven't been exploring as thoroughly as in the Western US or in other parts of the world. And so the, the discovery of Ladu Mahadi really puts South Africa on a world stage and tells people, you know, you should come here. This is a place that has great fossil resources. To continue the exploration for more of South Africa's prehistoric treasures, investment and properly trained scientists are needed. Julie Shara, CGTN, Free State, South Africa.